Okay, so now we are going to start our um, installation. First of all, make sure that you have uh, Node.js installed. So let's do that. Okay, so everything should be okay now. Let's open a terminal window. And we should have node working. And also NPM. Okay, next we will install um, Vue. Okay, now that we have Node.js running, we can go ahead and install Vue. By the way, those are the steps. Node.js, first time, just one time. And then Vue, just one time. And then we are going to grab an example template, which is um, core UI for Vue. So let's continue with our view. We just go to cli.vuejs.org or just Google um, install view CLI and then you will just follow the links and you will find this, uh, this website. So to install it you have two options. You can use npm, npm or yarn. In my case we have npm so we will just go do that. Again I closed my prompt window and then I will just paste it. So this will install Vue globally on your uh, machine. So you will be able to call Vue anywhere in on your uh, windows. So uh, it will take some time so I'm gonna pause the video and get back when it's done. Okay, so now um, our view should be installed. So let's test if everything is okay. So let's try to run this command just to uh, as a as an example, and let's see if it's going to work. Well, first let's go inside the desktop so and. Let's try it. And let's see. Okay. So I'm going to just hit on a enter. And uh, as you can see, my project is being created. If this works, that means your view is working properly. So that's how you install. Vue.js on a Windows. Now the purpose of this video is not to uh, 
start from a empty project but I will just control C to stop this uh, process but I want to go a little bit faster and go directly to a real example so I want to this core UI which is a uh, a template, a ready template dashboard. So I'm gonna down download the free version for um, for view. So I will go ahead and download it. And they give you a preview, and also they give you the installation process, how you install it. Okay. So so let's first let's go ahead and download it. I'm going to download um, OK, save Let me delete this project, I don't need it That was just to test OK Now let's unzip it on my desktop And that's the folder. So let's call it a dashboard. <laughs> dashboard. So now let's see what we have. We have the dashboard, so I'm going to go dashboard and then I will start my um, server. So how do we do that? We just run npm serve. npm run serve. Okay. So why it didn't work? That's easy. Because first we have to install so because now what's going on is we have our folder but there is a folder which is missing it's called uh, modules node modules so by typing npm let me just clear npm install it will go ahead and download the modules here so notice here you will see a folder that will be created not modules okay, I'm gonna pause the video and get back to you when it's done okay now the installation has been uh, completed um, so let's run our server <coughs> npm run serve so now it will take it depends on your machine speed and then it's gonna run the server This is the first time. And on my machine it's very slow because I'm running on a virtual machine. But on your machine it should be much faster. And that's it. Now we are ready to I just copy paste. I mean just go to your local host AD AD. <laughs> For some reason <laughs> local host. Uh, 
and sure enough we have our dashboard running. So now that you have installed UGS and uh, the admin panel, you're ready to go to the next video and watch uh, more tutorials about UGS. That's it. And um, to stop your server, Control C. Yes, and that's it. Thank you.